Hello friends, welcome back to Online Chalkboard. Today we are dealing with the last section of real numbers. We will be dealing with the exercise. So far we have learned about how to calculate HCF, LCM using prime factorization and also division, Euclid's division algorithm. And uh, we proved how, how is a number irrational and now we were discussing how can a rational number be differentiated using its decimal expansion like terminating decimal expansion or non-terminating repeating decimal expansion finding the form of Q. So now we have to discuss few of the questions. I hope you remember what we have learned in the next, uh, previous class. You can revisit the video by using the link available in the description box. And if you are finding this video is useful to share with your friends and uh, if you haven't subscribed this channel yet, to subscribe it and press the notification button for getting the updates of the video. So let's move on to the chapter. We discussed already the first question, we will get into the second one. We'll uh, we need to check whether it's having a decimal expansion terminating or non-terminating. Exercise 1.4 question number 1, second one. If it terminates, we'll do the second question also, we'll have to find the decimal expansion. First one is 17 by 8. For this question, all we need to know the prime factorization of the denominator. By looking into a fraction, don't get panicked, just, just check the prime factorization. We know 8 can be written as 2 into 2 into 2, that is 2 cube. So you see the prime factorization of 8 is 2 raised to 3, which is of the form, which is of the form 2 raised to n into 5 raised to m. Here it is like 2 raised to 3 into 5 raised to 0, right? 5 raised to 0 is 1, and the power of 5 is here 0. So therefore, 17 by 8 has terminating decimal expansion. So for question number 2, since this has the terminating decimal expansion, question number 2 have asked us to find the decimal expansion. So I will write 17 by 8 is equal to just like previously 17 by 2 raised to 3 multiplying numerator and denominator with 5 raised to 3 because here 2 raised to 3 is available. We have to write multiply 2 raised to 3 that is denominator it comes 2 into 5 the whole raised to 3 2 1 2 5 2 1 2 5 divided by 10 raised to 3 is 1000 that is 2.12 5. This is the decimal expansion of 17 by 8 or you can calculate using division of 17 by 8 if you divide 17 by 8 twos are 16 remainder 1 point 18 remainder 2 point 2 16 remainder 4 5 40. This is also see we got the decimal expansion even in this way. Now look into question number 3. 64 by 455 decimal expansion of 455 sorry prime factorization of 455 here the last term is 5 it will go by 5 91 here it is 64 by 5 into 91 here the prime factorization of 5 is equal to 5 raised to 1 into 91 which is not of the form not of the form there should not come any other number other than 2 and 5 so therefore non-terminating decimal expansion non-terminating repeating because this is a rational number repeating decimal expansion we don't have to calculate uh, for question number 2 because it is not terminating now let's look into question number 3 4 15 by 16,000, 1600. The prime factorization, 2s are 8, 2s are 400, 2s are 200, 2s are 100, 2s are 50, 2s are 25, 5, 5. So, it's like 3 into 5 by 2 raised to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2 raised to 6 into 5 square. This is the decimal expansion of uh, 
15 by 1600. You see, 1600 is of the form 2 raised to m into 5 raised to n, right? 2 raised to n into 5 raised to m. Therefore, terminating decimal expansion. You see, if I, even if I cancel this also, this is still of the form. Terminating decimal expansion. We can calculate the decimal expansion either by division, long division method or by multiplying numerator and denominator with. We have to make the same power for 5. Okay, so 3 into 5 divided by 2 raised to 6 into 5 square is already available. So multiply it with 5 raised to 4 le, into 5 raised to 4. So that is 3 into 5 raised to 5 divided by 2 into 5 the whole raised to 6. So we will get 9375 divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That is equal to 0 0.0. 0.9375. This is the decimal expansion of 15 by 1600. We are doing question number 1 and 2 simultaneously. We are calculating the decimal expansion of the numbers which are terminating also. Now, let's go to question number 5. 29 by 343. 343 goes by 7, 4, T9, 7, 7, 7. So it's like 29 into 7 raised to 3. 343 is equal to 7 raised to 3. It's not of the form 2 raised to n into 5 raised to m for any n and m. Therefore, it's non-terminating repeating decimal expansion. We don't have to calculate the decimal expansion here. Okay. Now let's move on to question number 6. 23 by 2 raised to 3 into 5 square. Here, the denominator Q is of the form. Denominator 2 raised to 3 into 5 square, which is of the form 2 raised to n into 5 raised to n. Therefore, terminating decimal expansion. So how to calculate? Here you see we have 5 both power. We will multiply the missing power into 5 square, right? So to make the power equal, I will multiply both sides with 5. Then I will get 115 divided by 2 into 5 the whole cube. That is equal to 115 divided by 1000. That is equal to 0 0.115. This is the decimal expansion of 23 by 2 raised to 3 into 5 square. In the other way around, if you are going to divide it, it will take more time. I am converting this numerator into, uh, if, if I am converting denominator in like power of 1000, it is more easy. Like uh, here it was 1000. So decimal expansion, should uh, after point it will come 3 numbers. This is how I am doing. This is much easier than doing the long division. Now come to question number 7. 129 by 2 raised to 2, 5 raised to 7, 7 raised to 5. Here you check, look the denominator. It's of, it's it of the form 2 raised to n into 5 raised to m. Here we have 2 raised to n and 5 raised to m. But there's an additional number 7 raised to 5. We want it in of the form q that is equal to 2 raised to n into 5 raised to m. When that, this comes, it's invalid. So, since denominator is of the form 2 raised it's not of the form it's not of the form 2 raised to into 5 raised to we can even like if we do 129 like it's 3 43 here 3 into 43 by 2 raised to 2 into 5 raised to 7 into 7 raised to 5. If you are simplifying it and after checking, uh, also this is remaining same. 
first of all we need to simplify it then only we have, we can check with the denominator is of the form 2 raised to n or 5 raised to n here it cannot be further simplified so this is the last expression for q raised to n p and q should be co prime okay so we we'll say it's not of the form therefore non terminating now comes question number 6 question number 8 6 by 15 here 6 is actually 2 raised to 3 and 15 is actually 3 into 5. So you see after I simplify I get 3 and 3 gets cancelled and it is 2 by 5 is the simplest form where P and Q are co-prime. I am expressing 6 by 15 in a way uh, such that it can be expressed into P by Q. We need to check the simplified version that where P and Q are co-prime. Here Q is of the form, the decimal expansion Q is of the form. 5 raised to 1 that is equal is of the form 2 raised to n into 5 raised to n like here n is equal to 0 and m is equal to 1 therefore it is terminating okay we always have to first simplify then only we can simplify numerator and denominator and only check p by q is co-prime way then only uh, q is equal to 2 raised to n 5 raised to m uh, we can check it therefore terminating now we need to check the decimal expansion here that is equal to 2 5 and 1 2 is missing so that the denominator can become the way of 10 4 by 10 that is equal to 0 0.4 so this is the decimal expansion of 6 by 15 35 by 50 let's check the decimal expansion numerator is 5 into 7 and denominator is 50, 2's are 25, 5's are 5's are 5's are 1. 2 into 5 square, so that is 5 and 1 square gets cancelled, that is 7 by 2 into 5. Still the denominator is of the form p by q, sorry 2 raised to n to 5 raised to m, q is of the form, denominator is of the form 2 raised to n into 5 raised to m, that is where n is equal to 1 and also m is equal to 1. Therefore, it is terminating. So, we will have to calculate the decimal expansion now. So, here you see it is uh, both 2 and 5 are having the same power. So, I can write 7 by 10 that is equal to 0 0.7 is the decimal expansion. Now, coming to the last question 10, 77 by 210, 77 is 7 into 11. 210 is 7s are 30, 3s are 15, no, 3s are 10, 5s are 2, 2s are 1. So it is like 2 into 3 into 5 into 7. Yes, 7 and 7 gets cancelled, but uh, here we have 3 also. So, Q is not of the form 2 raised to n into 5 raised to n. Therefore, it is non-terminating but it would be repeating. So, we do not have to calculate the decimal expansion. Decimal expansion is calculated by using uh, division method here. Now, let us move to the last question of this section. Read the question given in page number 18. The following real numbers have decimal expansion as given below. In each case, decide whether they are rational or not. If they are rational and of the form P by Q, what can you say about the prime numbers of Q? Here, the first question is 43.123456789. The question asks us, to check whether the real numbers have a des, um, is of to check whether the numbers are rational or irrational by looking at the decimal expansion and if they are rational we need to uh, say comment about the form of a uh, prime factorizer of q so here in this you have given 43.1234567 is it a rational number or irrational number Yes, this is a rational number because it has got a terminating decimal expansion. Since it has terminating decimal expansion, therefore it is 
rational. So this can be expressed. So this can be expressed as P by Q and Q is of the form 2 raised to n into 5 raised to m. Okay, here it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So it would be like after decimal expansion is 9, it's 5, 2 raised to 9. This would be the uh, denominator. If you are writing 4, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 divided by um, 2 raised to 9 to 5 raised to 9. The simplified form, we can simplify it and say, yeah, this would be the form. So actually, this is only we need to comment about. So the denominator Q is of the form 2 raised to 1 into 5 raised to 1. That's it. Now look into the second part of the question. 0 0.1201 Two zero zero one, two triple zero one, two one two three four, etc. Here in this question, is it terminating? No, it's not terminating, etc. It's going. So now we need to check whether it is repeating. Is it repeating block? Did you see any kind of repeating blocks here? There is here one two zero one. Okay. Now we need another one two zero. 1 2 0 it's repeating till here but from here it's 0 1 2 then it's triple 0 this is not repeating anywhere it is non terminating and non repeating therefore not rational therefore irrational this is irrational. Okay. Now comes the third portion, last part of the question. Forty three point one two three four five six seven eight nine bar. Here bar means that these digits, this after decimal, they are repeating in blocks like that four point one two three four five six seven eight nine. We can write one two three four five six seven eight nine etc. That means it is not repeating, non-terminating, but repeating. If it is non-terminating and repeating, it is called a rational number. So we got it. This is rational number. What can you say about the, it can be expressed in the form P by Q, okay, where Q is not of the form, not of the form 2 raised to n into 5 raised to m, where n and m are positive integers, non-negative integers. Okay, friends, so with this, we come to the end of the chapter real numbers and we discussed in this chapters about uh, real numbers, rational numbers, irrational numbers and how to find HCF, LCM using Euclid's division lemma, Euclid's division algorithm and fundamental theorem of arithmetics. We learned how to prove a number to be irrational and also we revisited rational numbers and learned more about the decimal expansion, uh, how different types of decimal expansion like whether it is terminating, non-terminating, repeating or non-terminating, non-repeating etc. And we have learned few questions. Do practice more questions uh, of similar type. If you have any doubts, you can comment in the comment box and uh, we would be updating uh, the rest of the chapters behind. Uh, so thanks for watching if you like this video uh, do share this with your friends this would be useful for them also and so till we see in the next video thanks for watching